Okay, this uh, disassembly video is for a Henry Big Boy in uh, 45 Long Cold. Um, the first step we need to do is remove the stock, and I've already pre pulled out the screw. The next thing you need to do is separate these two. And the stock slides off very easily. There's just not enough room here to show it on the screen. Okay, the, the first screw that we're going to remove is going to be the lever screw. And it's this one. I always lay the screws and parts in the order in which I remove them. Uh, that way I know which order to put them back in. I pull this open a little bit to get the tension off the screw. Now I'm going to pull the hammer back a little bit to get the trigger out of the way. And this lever piece comes out pretty easily. Okay, the next screw I'm going to pull out is this one here. But first I'm going to um, put the hammer back down. I do that by pushing on the sear, which is right behind the trigger and then letting the hammer come down easily. Don't, don't let it go. Uh, the next screw to come out is the trigger group screw. Taking this apart uh, to be engraved for the 10th anniversary of the Q2 bank. Um, you're going to put it in a nice display case in, in their lobby of their offices. Okay, I'm using a punch to take, tap the scru screw out. You got to make sure you don't hit the threads. There it is. Um, the reason that I did that, if you notice this popped down a little bit, uh, it was in there so t that spring is keeping it in there real tight. So when you unscrew it, it puts pressure on it. You got to tap it out with a punch. Okay, the next screw that we're going to take out is, is this one that's in front of where the uh, lever action, where the lever was. Um, it's also on the side without the uh, without the slot here. So we're going to take the screw out. This is a very short screw. We're going to flip the rifle over. We're going to take this screw out next. Okay, the last screw we need to remove is, is this one here. Okay, when that screw comes out, it removes the tension on the, the mainspring. We can remove the trigger group. And the hammer.
we're almost done. Okay, the next thing we're going to remove is the locking bolt. And this, this piece just lifts straight up. And when you put it back together, this part here, not this part, faces the front. This U-shaped part on the top points to the back and towards the bottom of the rifle. The next part to deal with is the carrier and the bolt. You push the bolt back a little bit and you should be able to... Well, there's the bolt. The carrier it can now come out and th that bolt was under a little bit of tension that was caused by this extractor. This is the ejector. I said extractor, but this is the ejector. Let's set that aside. Okay, um, I'm not taking off the front magazine or the barrel. I mean, the, the magazine, the barrel, or the uh, front stock to do the engraving. Basically, there's one screw, the, the magazine tube turns and pulls out. The barrel's going to take a vise. But uh, this is as far as I need to go to, uh, to be able to engrave it.